Bye bye karma. Let's get rid of all those excessive blocks or rocks of karma that we're still carrying with us. No more. We're saying goodbye to karma. With the help of Lady Portia, Jesus Christ, and Kuan Yin. Hello and welcome to the Galactic Chat. My name is Inge van Straal and I am a Galactic Priestess. I help you reconnect with galactic wisdom and embody that wisdom so you can recreate heaven on earth. And I do that through one-on-one sessions, workshops, videos and meditations and online programs. And if you're interested in working with me, check the description box below. Okay. And while you're at it, don't forget, of course, to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and share it with others. And that is the official part of this video over and done with. Let's get to the good stuff. In December, the month that we're in now, depending, of course, on when you watch this video or listen to this podcast, But I've been, yeah, we're fast approaching the end of this year and I've been preparing myself because I thought it would be a good idea to start processing and releasing some of the stuff that happened in 2023 and a lot of things that, you know, were allowed to come to the service surface for me personally in 2023 old patterns, old programs, old attachments, you know, that were still there. And uh, yeah, so I've been preparing myself to release that and to start 2023 with a beautiful, fresh frequency. So I asked the guides, you know, for their input and, you know, what would what they would recommend and they actually said that you know the month of december all the way through to the spring equinox is an excellent time an excellent time to release and that we've been given like this uh, period of leniency to release a lot of old trauma, old wounds, old patterns that we are still attached to and that we're still carrying with us. So in this period, it will be easier to release. And that it's important for us to release all these wounds, this baggage, this extra baggage that we're carrying. And, you know, the more we release, the more we obviously get in touch with, you know, who we truly are and how clearer our frequency becomes. And then as of the spring equinox in 2024, we will be ready to start building for ourselves, the building our own foundations in this world so you know and it it doesn't matter what else is going to happen in 2024 but for us as humanity as light workers as star seeds it is important to work on that foundation our own foundation to start really well anchoring more of our own frequency here in this world. And in order for us to do that, we need to be so clear on what our frequency is. So all the things that hold us back can be released now in this period. So we can really build our own foundation 
as of spring equinox. So I'm in, I'm all in, I'm excited. And actually, I'm also excited to be releasing so many old frequencies that I'm still carrying with me. You know, this is the time. If it's easier to, to release, well, I know that I will be releasing as much as I can. So, and I love to share with you. So today in this video, we'll be releasing old energies that we're still carrying with us. Some, and actually, uh, it actually has to do with old karmic loads from, you know, that we've taken on from other people, from humanity, or that are still with us from past lives. And, you know, we're done with that. We don't need to do that anymore. So we're releasing those old karmic loads. You know, and, 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 and the image I get is of us carrying this backpack of, all, well, of those old karmic issues and, you know, we've been carrying them with us for so long. We're done with it. So we'll release them and we'll get help from members of the karmic board. And the members that are going to be here with us today are, who are you? Lady Portia of light and love, of course, Jesus Christ of light and love, and Kuan Yin of light and love, the goddess Kuan Yin. So these three creatures are part of the karmic board, the universal karmic board, which is like, I would almost say an organization, but that's such a human term. But for them, you know, it doesn't matter. They're, they're telling me, yeah, I'm just putting like labels on it and, you know, that they don't feel. So it's like I can use the, the word organization. Okay. So it's an organization that takes care of, well, karmic issues so that they make sure that there is a karmic balance. And karma is not in the sense, you shouldn't see it as like uh, a punishment, but it really is cause and effect. Like something that you set in motion, like energies, frequencies that you send out will eventually come back to you. So you will experience it, the, the frequency from both ends. So that is what karma is. Anyway, uh, so what they're doing is so that this organization, the karmic board, you know, make sure that these karmic well, laws, the law of cause and effect, you know, is in place. And now we're in this period also where we can have like a karmic dispensation. So we're done with this you know we can step out of certain patterns because you know our soul is ready to release it so they will put their their powers together their frequencies together lady portia jesus christ and the goddess Kuan Yin. they will put their frequencies together and create this beautiful black flame and to me it looks like this obsidian flame almost you know the, this volcanic glass because it's got this sparkling and and yet at the same time like this sharp frequency to it and it just cuts away like the axis karmic issues that you're still carrying so, are you ready to release some of that karmic load? Let's get to it. So, make sure you're comfortable. Uninterrupted for about 15 minutes. You lie down, sit down. 
And while you do that, while you move around, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and to share it with others. And while you do that, I'll take a sip of my tea. And let's get started. And as always, we start by taking a couple of deep breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. And again, breathe in and breathe out. Scan your body. Are there any places where you're holding on to tension, stress, sadness, heaviness? Whatever it is, breathe into those places. And on your exhale, you release whatever is ready to be released. Breathe in. And breathe out. And again, breathe in. And release. And ground yourself. If you're familiar with Pleiadian light work, put down your grounding cord from your first or second chakra all the way to the Earth Star Crystal. And otherwise, use your own method of grounding. And if you don't have, have a method just yet, breathe into the soles of your feet and the tip of your tailbone. And from there, grow roots deep into the earth. And breathe into your grounding cord, into your roots. And through your grounding cord, through your roots, breathe in earth energy. And fill your body with earth energy. I call upon the Pleiadian Emissaries of Light and I ask them to join us in our own energetic spaces. And I ask them to clear our individual spaces and to fill it, to fill our own individual spaces with their love, their light, their guidance. And then to connect all our spaces together so that we're all in one big energetic circle. I call upon Archangel Michael of light and love and I ask him to seal our space, to seal our circle with his sword of truth. I call upon the Dolphin Star Temple Higher Council of Light and I ask them to transform our energetic space into a sacred Dolphin Star Temple space and to place the crystalline pillars around our temple space, connecting us to the light heart of Mother Earth and the light heart of Father Son. And I set the intention that we will use this meditation for our own personal growth to open our hearts to love and light and purity and to serve the greater plan the cosmic divine plan for the good of all so be it so be it so be it and I ask the Pleiadian, Syrian, and Andromedan emissaries of light for the following cones of light to be placed above and below our auras and above and below our temple space, the interdimensional, the evolutionary, the intergalactic, and the earth cones of light. And if you're familiar with Pleiadian light work, this is the time 
to pull in your higher self connections. And if you're not familiar with Pleiadian Lightwork, ask your higher self to make a connection, a heart connection, from your heart all the way to the home of your higher self and from your heart all the way to the light heart of Mother Earth. And breathe in, feel that. Feel that connection running through you. I invite Lady Portia of Love and Light, Jesus Christ of Love and Light, and the Goddess Kuan Yin of Love and Light to join us in our temple space. And I ask them to fill our, to fill our space with their love, their light, their guidance. And one of these three beautiful beings will come and stand in front of you and connect with you. And he or she looks at you. And from his or her eyes come these beautiful, piercing beams of light. And they scan your body, your energy field. And they lit up, they light up these places in your body, in your energy fields, where you are carrying karma, access karma, excessive karma. <laughs> That's what they're calling it. Karma that is done, that you have taken up for hum humanity of past lives, that you just haven't been able to shed or to release. Maybe because of some attachments, some beliefs, that you deserve this, or that you need to solve this. Whatever it is, just feel those places. and breathe into them. And the other two representatives of the karmic board join you. So you will now have Lady Portia, Kuan Yin, and Jesus Christ around you. And they all look at these places in your body, in your energy fields, where you are carrying those excessive karmic blocks, karmic loads. And they start by sending you so much love and appreciation. They envelop you in love, light, and appreciation. Feel it.
and that love, light, and appreciation for you as a being, as a soul. Creates a softening, softening of the frequencies around those karmic blocks that you're carrying. And they ask you to open your heart. For their love, their light and their guidance. And with that love, light and guidance, also comes the softening in your heart, a forgiveness to yourself, to release all the judgments that you are carrying regarding these karmic loads. Enabling you to forgive yourself for whatever is still there. For whatever is causing you to hold on to these blocks, these rocks of karma. Jesus, Lady Portia, and Kuan Yin put their frequencies together and create a karmic flame, a black, shining flame. And they place it around the first karmic block first karmic rock that you're carrying and breathe into that space. You need to be aware. And then that karmic flame, that black, beautiful karmic flame. Transmutes this karma. And then they move karmic flame to a different area where you're carrying that karmic load. And they place that black karmic flame around it. Breathe into that space. And that karmic rock load is transmuted and on to the next breathe into the place where you feel it and they place the karmic flame around that area And release. And maybe there is one more or maybe two more. Breathe into them. And 
and feel how the karmic flame is placed around that area to transmute all the karma that you're still carrying with you that is ready to be transmuted. And when that's done, they send their love and their light again to your heart. From that space, from your heart space, you send the light and the love that you received from them. You send it on to all those places where you have released the karma, those karmic rocks. And breathe in and out. And we thank these beautiful beings. Thank you so much for your love, your light, your guidance. And they say goodbye to you. And they tell you how much they love you and respect you and honor you for all the work that you're doing. You're doing a great job. And I thank all the beings that were here with us today. Lady Portia, Kuan Yin, Jesus Christ, Pleiadian, Siren, and Andromeda, and Emissaries of Light, Archangel Michael, and the Dolphin Star Temple Higher Council of Light. Thank you so much. And I ask for all the energetic structures to be released so that we're all in our own energetic space. And breathe in and breathe out and slowly move your body. And welcome back, beautiful soul. Wow. Ah, oh, what a relief. I didn't know I was still carrying so much, so much karmic loads with me. Wow. Thank you for being here on this planet at this time with me. Thank you, beautiful soul. Enjoy the rest of this festive season. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I'll see you next year. Bye-bye.